hello everybody my name is Rebecca welcome back to my channel so today as you can see I'm here to share with you how to cook potato greens and I'm using palm oil to cook the potato greens today this meal is one of Liberians favorite meals it's tasty it's delicious and it's very healthy and one thing I noticed is not only Liberian but other nationals that have tasted this meal they love it as well so if you are interested in how I make mine I will encourage you to continue watching and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please subscribe okay let's get started First, I will be boiling my meat, and these meats have already been washed thoroughly. When you are cooking your meat, and if you have any meat that are pretty tough, you want to cook that first. Later, then you can add the ones that are pretty easy to cook, or you can put everything in a pot at once. Later, you remove the ones that I've already cooked and allow the other ones to soften more. But in this case, I pre-cooked the cow skin earlier before adding it onto the pot. So I will just allow all of them to cook together. So I'm adding some chopped onions and garlic. This will help to give it some good flavor. And also, I'm adding some seasoning onto the meat. You want to add good amount of seasoning that will help your meat to season well. Yeah, you can go with what I have in the video or what you have at home. I will just add good amount of water that will allow the meat to cook well. So I will just cover that up and allow it to cook. While cooking your meat, you want to check in between to make sure it is tasty and also the texture of the meat. So after a few minutes, I check the meat and it's tasting good and it's well cooked. I will just let that to cool while I'm working on the potato greens. So in this sink, I have some fresh potato greens. When I visited the Asian store, I was able to find this fresh green in this winter. Yay! So what you want to do, you want to make sure you put good amount of water in your sink and wash your green good at least repeat this step one or two times making sure that your green is free from sand and dirt <coughs> so as you can see me what i'm doing in the video you can go with it you want to make sure you remove the uh the green from the stem like what you see me doing and gather enough in your hands that your hand is full when your hand is full, you want to clip up the, the top part. When you clip that up, then you want to place it on your cotton bowl and use your knife and chop up your grain. You can follow this step or you can cut your grain the way you prefer. There are few ways to cut grains, you know. So I prefer this one because I think it's more uh, it's faster and I enjoy doing it this way so you can go with the way you prefer yeah but for beginners I will encourage you either use the machine or you do it like this way so I'm adding the grain to the ones that I chopped up previously when I'm done I will just transfer it into the cooking pot so yeah i've transferred into the pot what you see me adding right now is the liquid that i collected from the meat that i cooked previously yeah i allow that to cook after a few minutes i check on the grains and as you can see they have already shrank and it have released enough water so that's why i started with a little bit of water remember when you are washing the grain some of the water stays on the grain so that adds up with the ones the with the extra water that you add in so you don't want to cook your grain with too much water from the beginning after a few minutes i check on the grains so right now i'm just adding some crabs and some seasoning 
I will mix the seasoning with the vegetable thoroughly and allow it to cook. And I'll also be adding some uh, whole habanero that I didn't blend. Uh, you might be wondering why is she adding a crab right now. I'm doing so because the crab is pretty easy to get cooked. And also you might be concerned there is no much water. Just hang on, I will show you. I will show you the potato green in a few minutes. I will allow this to cook and I will come back and show you why I'm not adding any additional water. So guys, after a few minutes, can you see? I'm being very honest here. I didn't add any additional water, but potato greens is very soggy. So, and you know, the water that you use to wash the greens, some of the water stays on your greens. So that's why I don't add too much water when I'm cooking my greens. So right now, I'm just adding some vegetable oil. Sorry, I'm adding some palm oil and I will allow this to cook for two three minutes and i will be back so uh right now while the greens is cooking in the oil i just choose to work on the peppers so i'm blending some onions or uh, garlic fresh garlic and what you see me showing you is some flavorful spice i give the potato green really amazing flavor and some dry shrimp i'll just blend everything and I'll be adding it to the soup in a few seconds. So yeah, right now I'm adding some Mui Mui. <laughs> A Ghanaian lady that I work with, she called this, she said they called it uh, Momoni in their country. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought the Liberian, the Liberian uh, uh, version for it is funny, but when I heard the Ghanaian lady calling it, oh my goodness, <laughs> I laughed and got tired. So what I also added was the blender, shrimp, pepper, garlic, and onions. So I'm just mixing that thoroughly before I can add the meat. So yeah. I'm adding the meat and the fish and I will also mix that very well. You might be concerned with the pepper get done. Yes, the pepper will get done. I usually add the pepper a little late because what I notice, it gives the food really great smell when you add a little late. And I will also allow that to cook. So guys, don't worry. When you add it late, just allow your vegetable to cook maybe for three to five minutes so your pepper can get done. But it leaves your food smelling amazing when you add your pepper a little uh, late. Yeah. So yeah, after mixing them up, I tasted it again. It needed a little bit of seasoning. So yeah, when you're cooking your food, make sure you check out for, for seasoning by tasting it. You know, you want to make sure you taste it before you can add extra seasoning. You don't want to over season no, or you don't want to under season. So before you can add some seasoning, please taste. So after the few minutes, here we are, the potato greens, you can still see a little bit of water. So yeah, it's pretty good now. I'm just like stirring it again and to taste it, to make sure it's all good. So yeah, please, please, please. I struggle with this for a while. Usually I will start up by putting a lot of water in my potato green and I will keep cooking and cooking the water, don't get dry. So what I noticed, I say, you know what? I will limit the amount of water in season. Since then, I started doing that. I don't struggle with the potato greens for the water to get dry anymore. So yeah, just to let you know, give it a try. So that's the end of today's video. I just hope I didn't talk too much. Thank you so much again for watching. As you can see, it's beautiful and it's so yummy. We eat this with some rice or you can eat it with whatever you prefer. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, to like, to subscribe, and to leave your comment. Thank you.